So in this video, we're gonna continue with setting up a store and we have now created a store and done a basic minimal setup for it, but now we need to actually list some items to sell. So I'm gonna click create listing to create my first item for sale. So you have a simple form here and I'm gonna, let's see, What's the first item I'm gonna do? I'm going to, I have basically what I've done here is I just happened to grab, I had a tin nearby that had a bunch of old badges, uh, Doctor Who badges and stuff that I had and it was the easiest thing for me to quickly grab. So I'm going to, let's see, call this first item I think I'm gonna list is gonna be a Doctor Who logo badge for, which shows the 1970s logo. So we'll call it Doctor Who 19, 70s logo badge. Now the type, you have three options, physical item, digital item, or service. So physical item is what we're gonna go with here because it's a physical item that would need to, if I were truly selling this, I would be mailing it to them once they purchased it. And so it's a physical item that would require postage and that sort of thing. Digital item would be something like, for example, uh, music or video, and you might have, uh, like if I chose to sell some of my videos through here, then it would be a digital item. And then service is if you're doing some kind of a service. So price in Bitcoin, uh, let's see here. <laughs> I'm going to, I like this badge, so I'm going to sell it for, I'm gonna list it for 0 0.001 Bitcoin which I think is cheaper than I would actually sell it for if I was truly selling it. Condition is used, I would say excellent in this particular case. It's not adult. There is no SKU, no SKU, and a description. So I put in a description. Uh, now I want to select a photo. Then I have a couple photos that are waiting here for this. So click select photo. And then I have my different ones. Let's see which one is it. Here it is. So I have, in this case, I actually have two photos. I've got a front and back so people could see what kind of condition it's in. And I've selected both of them. I'm gonna hit open. And now you can see thumbnails of those two images. Now below that, you have some optional information here. Categorization. And this is basically for, if you only have one category of item, you don't have to do anything, but you, if you have different things. So um, I might have, for example, if I were gonna expand this and have a lot of different items, I might have uh, action figures, I might have models, I might have uh, badges, I might have clothing and so forth. And so you can create a category that this would go into, t-shirts, whatever it might be. Discover. Uh, this is tags, uh, kind of like we were talking about before when you created the store in the first place, there's gonna be general tags for the store. And this is tags to for just pe helping people find the item. So I'm gonna call this, put in Dr. Who. And differently, interestingly differently than when I set up the this actually allowed me to type a space in, which is interesting because it's not quite the same as the way it wor as it worked when I first set the store up. Uh, but let's see, logo, and I'm putting a, basically I'm, you can just hit a comma and it will create, save it as a tag, separate tag each time you type something. So I've just typed in a few different key, key words and phrases, tags, that would be things that people might be searching for or browsing through to find items like what you're selling, in this case, the Doctor Who badge. That is optional, but it is highly recommended. All right, now because I selected a, a physical item, I do have to fill out some shipping information. And we're gonna say, this is gonna call it one to two business days for processing before it'll actually ship, ships worldwide. And you have regions that you can ship to. So you can, if you don't want to ship worldwide, you can close that and then you can go, for example, I imagine there is probably a United States down here somewhere. Let's see. 
and I have scrolled down to the bottom here, United States of America. So this is just gonna ship in the US, and let's just say I'd like to also ship to the UK, and then United Kingdom. And then I can choose to have free shipping or not. And if I'm gonna have ship pay for shipping, then I would pipe a, a price here, how much the price would be for for domestic shipping in the first box, international if I'm shipping overseas, I would type a different amount, or I can just make it free shipping. And then there's a shipping time, is gonna be how long it's gonna take from when you ship it to when it arrives, and it is pre-filled out with three to five business days for domestic and seven to 15 for, for international. I'm just gonna leave those. Now under terms and conditions, I'm just gonna, this is optional, but I'm just gonna say this is a demo for the sake, just so nobody tries to actually buy this from me <laughs> and gets upset if they don't get it. If you have a return policy, you can enter your return policy, 30 days or whatever it might be. And then if you want to uh, have the listing only last for a short period of time, you can choose to have it expire on a particular day. And if you click this little arrow, it'll give you a calendar. You can scroll through month by month and click the day that you want it to expire. So if I wanted to have it expire on May 20th. And so once you filled out all the information you want, there is a save button that is at the top and at the bottom. And now I've got my listing. So this is how it'll look. People can find it, and if they want to uh, buy it, then they would click and go through the ordering process. And basically, you would just repeat the process and add any other items that you wish for your listing.